philosophical definition of reality is all that can be confirmed to be real within a single system instead of what is imaginary or not proven. Yet I believe that there is a very high possibility that the world we live in does not even exist. Greetings. My name is Shu Xianli, but you may call me Nini. I am 15 years old and I am constantly doubting my own existence, which is precisely why I am here today to just explore with you the very possibilities of not existing, beginning with a mind blowing idea famously known as the Schrodinger's cat paradox, which was introduced to the world by Austrian physicist Erwin Schrodinger in 1935. The basic idea of this is if you intentionally place a substance that could kill, like poison inside a box, and seal the living cat in the box with that substance for a few days. Because you cannot confirm that the cat has died until you open up the box again, the cat is technically dead and alive at the same time as the box is closed. The poison intended to kill the cat, but the cat went in alive and it did live for an unknown amount of time. However, the cat is definitely dead when the box is opened, because it is only through the act of opening the box is the death confirmed. So really, which state are we as human beings stuck in? Existing, not existing, or something in between like the cat in the box? These apply to vastly different circumstances. So really, the answer just depends on the perspective we're looking at. Firstly, our personal reality exists because we prove to ourselves that everything in our lives is real because we are physically and emotionally experiencing it with our own senses. Yet, despite being aware of ourselves, we'll never find out if others even have a consciousness because it is impossible to merge into their body to experience their life from their perspective without losing ourselves in the process which is why consciousness is unreliable in confirming reality as we are completely disinterested in looking at this through such a tiny spectrum today. This is simply a version of reality, which is completely undeniable. Secondly, physics has amazing things to say about the energetic nature of reality. For example, Albert Einstein's theory of relativity can support non-existence with ease. Energy equals mass and or matter times the speed of light squared, or E equals mc squared. Energy, from what we know so far, is made out of completely nothing, and mass is matter. So basically, this theory is saying that if we go at the speed of light times the speed of light, we turn into pure energy. And if this theory stands true, on the most basic level of explanation, the equation states that energy and matter are merely different forms of the same thing. So as mass is constructed of energy and energy equals nothing, matter is nothing as well. And as we are made of matter, we do not exist. And finally, the universe cannot be considered defined and real unless an observer is present just like how the cat was in a superposition of being both dead and alive while shut inside the box with its condition unobserved and therefore unconfirmed. Does this not sound a little bit like a video game? You know, in the way that characters in a game can only do things when being observed by us playing them? Not to mention the drastic speed in which games are improving, especially with the discovery of VR that has made games seem as real as ever. Elon Musk's argument for this was, and I quote, if you assume any rate of improvement at all, then games will be indistinguishable from reality or civilization will end. One of those two things will occur. Therefore, we are most likely in a simulation because we exist. What Musk is proposing is called the simulation theory, which explains the idea that we are existing inside our world, but not a part of reality within another greater one that is actually controlling us. And therefore, someone beyond our reach created us through something similar to a computer program that is so realistic that, as Musk said, is completely indistinguishable from reality. The nature of the things around us can easily relate to how computers work. 
atoms are like computer pixels, which make up everything in our world, just like how pixels make up everything in our screens. Light has the fastest speed in the universe, which is frighteningly similar to how we can set a maximum speed for characters of a game with a few lines of code. And finally, we also move through life, like we're moving through levels to conquer in a video game, growing from infants to children to teens to young adults, and so on until death occurs at some point in our lives. So do you think that we live in a simulation? Pay extra attention to your own personal reality tonight and look for the similarities between your life and computer games. It is always fascinating to explore the possibilities. And I do believe that it is indeed important to try to uncover the mysteries of the very world around us. So really, do you believe that we actually exist? And no matter what you currently think, are you planning to find out if we are real? Thank you.